842 is our time getting crafty once again using some potpourri and a food processor. All right, Patty Donham back with us again as our Patty Wack Crafts continue. Good morning. Good morning. A couple <laughs> weeks ago, we did a centerpiece for you. Today, we've got some uh, spicing up your life a little bit for the holidays. You know, I've had a little trouble. I've, I've been worried that you were going to eat something here. Yes, I know, <laughs> because it all smells so delicious. I'm like, where's the food? It does. It smells like cinnamon rolls and pumpkin pie and all those good things all out the of the kitchen. All the spices of the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, all you need for this are some of those styrofoam foam uh, balls and right. cones and shapes. shapes. I was trying to think of the word shapes. Right. And then we're going to cover it. Now you can grab last year's potpourri that doesn't smell anymore. Yes. A lot of people may give them for gifts and not use them. And so uh -huh. by the time it gets rolls around, they may have lost their smell. And you keep thinking you're going to put it out and you never do. Right. Well, this is a good way to okay. do it. Now it comes out really large. Right. Now the thing we need to do is to break it down. And I'm going to bring out my food processor. Now are you, you do that before you do this, right? Uh huh. Okay, and I'm just going to throw some of these in here. Make sure that you don't throw any wood chips. Okay, that's in a food here. processor. That's a little bitty one. You're crazy. <laughs> Not to be used afterwards with anything else. No, I'm no, assuming. no. And I'm going to throw some uh, cloves in uh -huh. here. Whole cloves. Whole right? cloves. Right. Ooh, it's starting to smell good it already. Is. And a few spices. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin pie spice and some. Ground nutmeg. And remember, we're not going to eat it. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. Let's blast that baby. And that's going to just. That's going to make it, it fun, right? Okay. Now, that does smell good. let's pull that puppy out. And I'm going to let you okay. pour it in that little container okay. while I start spreading glue all over this cone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it got a little bit in my throat. All right, now we, and you can find all sorts of shapes. While you're doing that cone, I'm just going to lift this up. Okay. You, know, you can find the, the, the circular shapes there, the, the ball. And what mm -hmm. we're going to do, you just cover that, glop it with all glue. Glop it up. Okay. Now, this doesn't work very well with hot glue. So all you gals yeah. out there that think you can use your hot glue, go Don't. for this. Just grab your white glue. Any white glue will work. Trust me, because you've tried it, haven't you? I have. Okay. Of course, you'd want to do the whole thing. Right. And then you're going to roll it. I'm going to roll it right in that Perfect. potpourri. And as you'll be able to see, you are going to be covering the whole thing. Right. So we're going to bring something finer over here, like our bird seed, and roll that in there. To fill it in. To as fill, you fill it, it in. Mm-hmm. Isn't that clever? Now, you're going to have a few more gaps, and guess what? You can bring <laughs> those spices over here and sprinkle them in. Isn't that you sure cool? did. That is very neat. I just love how it smells. And then you you just put it on a candle holder, right? I did. Set it up on a candle okay. holder. And you can see on this one, I put cinnamon stri uh, Stick. sticks all the way around the bottom <sighs> of it. Then tied it up with a nice little bow. Put these on an entire buffet table mm -hmm. and you can have something all the way down the table. Let me show you this one, Leanne. Okay. Bring it in here for everyone to see up right. close. It is a half of a sphere cut in half, right. and then I just dug out for the little tea light. Right. Then I did all of this stuff to it, added some extra large bumpy things around to it. To give it some texture. And added part. some ribbon, and then it's ready to go. And, and I can keep using this over and over right, every year. Right, and I cannot tell you the smells. Oh, it's just <laughs> wonderful. It's. I mean, I told you, as I came over here, I was like, I go right back to being a kid again. It's the <laughs> smells of grandma's house. Well, now, if you don't want to use your food processor, get out your rolling pin. And you can smash them. That's a great <laughs> That's alternative, because uh -huh. nobody wants to go buy one just for this. All right, this craft.